Yes, sir. Hello. Welcome to the episode 88 of Trust the Process, the episode where we try to get better at drawing daily. And today we have to deal with the hostage situation because all my sketches are trapped in this. Yeah, this piece of glass, this piece of cold technology and our rescue mission today is to get those out of there and to transform the digital, our digital sketches into a physical sketchbook. If you're like me, then uh, there's something magical or some charm to those um, printed books, printed drawing, if it's a comic or if it's yeah, just a sketchbook of yours. Stick around till the end and see if we can rescue those poor drawings. Yeah, speaking about the uh, tools and setup here, um, I did this in Adobe InDesign. I was kind of cheating a little bit because the, um, I was using an existing layout template I began in some long time ago. But uh, nonetheless, yeah, I set it up in Adobe InDesign. Um, then I also went about and um, um, ordered this one at a local print shop once the design was finished. I was thinking about giving it to an online print service, but I think giving it to a local print shop is much more personal in this way. Yeah, and perhaps my biggest insight in uh, this step was that the grid is your best friend while designing those sketchbooks where you want to be fast. It's, it's not that much of, a, uh, of, an, of, an, of an issue if it's pixel perfect. And those grid systems are really your best friend there. Um, you get visual consistency. It makes it fun and easy to uh, move around those boxes. It's a little bit like playing Lego with your drawings. That's a really helpful one. Uh, was a really helpful one for me in this case. Yeah, and while I started the layouting in InDesign, the thing that dumbfolded me the most is that I'm really doing this for two years now and really it didn't feel like two years it, f it feel, felt much shorter and the insight of the lesson I learned here or perhaps it's also interesting for you is regarding learning speed learn to draw speed and expectation management of how long it actually takes to, to draw I know in, in my case I was starting out with like crazy expectations how fast the learn uh, progression should be. And then uh, reality hit and I saw this is, this is not a sprint, this is a, a marathon in the true sense of the word. And then the next insight that hit me was looking, looking back at this or flowing through the different pages it was like a time lapse for me, time lapse in, the, in two years of drawing. And I realized we can't see our progress in real time. We can only see it in a situation like this where we time lapse it and uh, go back for years or months or um, at least weeks. And this is, I think this is a valuable lesson, lesson here that we can't see it in real time. It's this, this is the reality of the um, length of the learning process. Yeah, and in, in that sense, I think the most value of those of uh, this uh, sketchbooking or um, reviewing your old drawings isn't so much the result. I mean, it's fun and cool. You have something visual in your hand, but it's, but it's much more to uh, look at your drawings in compassion and see your real progression, which is which we are not able to see uh, day to day. Perhaps this is much more important than the printed result. Yeah, also a fun thing to do is uh, to co compare your first drawing, so the drawing, I don't know, two years ago uh, with, uh, the, with your current ability or your current state of drawing. That's a really fun one. And um, yeah, you can see um, the way I drew horses two years ago and was really fascinated about it and um, the progress I made. and. The, the today version is far from being perfect or anything, but yeah, it was 
it was like a, yeah a nice moment there for me yeah and then at this point of the uh, of the process i was feeling really hopeful to free those poor sketches that were trapped in the in this uh, technology device and i was there to rescue them yeah enthusiastically i went to the next step to uh, ordering the or to talking to my local print shop and sending them the pdf when the first crisis hit the nice and um, forthcoming lady gently um, made it clear to me that the pdf i was sending her was not printable uh, the format was wrong it was oversized they can't print it they had to do like an offset truck uh, offset print of it which would be really costly and yeah i was i was seeing my ship sinking and i heard those drawings from a distant rescue me and um, yeah i was down at this point and then i um, turned to my alter ego which is like over engineering and uh, thinking like mathematical equations and all oh, this gets too expensive and yeah this was the the lowest point of the whole process but at one point i took matters in my own hand and um, accepted all the downsides of it because um, the lady also uh, suggest suggested um, a different way to go about it with like a different way of um, binding the sides together with a spiral um, spiral way of binding binding it and also accepting a white uh, border around the pictures which is uh, due to their digital way of printing it and then at the end i was saying hey okay uh, don't let's let's not over engineer it and go for it yeah at the end i got um smarter <laughs> and learned a few things about printing again and was able to proceed to the next step having overcome this um, small crisis i exported the pdf in a different uh, way as uh, single pages and in, uh, in a more easier format for them to print and send it again and got the okay from the still nice lady there yes having done that uh, what are my insights i'm taking um, from this session it's my most important insight i think is um, that we don't see our drawing progress in real time so my advice would be for you and certainly for me to don't check your progress daily it's the same thing as you uh, as when you want to lose weight don't check the scale daily, check it once a week. And um, second, most, uh, or second most important uh, insight is do those drawing collections of yours. And those, if it's a sketchbook or just watching a gallery of it, it really soothes your soul and you can, you can then watch your progress. And that's, yeah, that's motivating. At least it was for me. Yeah, next insight would be don't over-engineer those sketchbooks. Just uh, get them out there and get them printed. It's a cool thing. And um, much more technical insight. If you want to um, print in A4 horizontal format, in Europe it's, um, a, it's called A4, um, then be aware that most local digital print shops can have a maximum forward format they can print in which is in i think in europe it's called a3 in america this would be 11.7 times 16.5 inches and uh, yeah don't make a double page of your sketchbook uh, exceeding that yeah really technical advice but yeah that's that's what i learned today and yeah at the end those ideas um, came back to life. They're able to, not yet, I'm, the, the print shop's still going, but I will keep you updated. But those ideas uh, came to life. And yeah, I'm smarter now. And I hope this was helpful for you as well. And as always, leave a question, a comment uh, down below, and I'm happy to answer.